Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you in Photoshop how to skew an image. So I've got an image up on the screen, and um, this is the image I started with, a picture of a dog here. And what I did was I cut out, used my cut tool to uh, pull the image or the actual form of the uh, of the dog from a bitmap. And so now that I've cut him out of the uh, actual background, no background here, um, I want to kind of, you know, turn him in an angle to where when I print this out it's straight. Uh, so this is what I've started out with and this is what we're going to get to. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. Alright, so stand by just a second and we'll get us a screen here we can work with. And we'll just go window, view, fit on screen. Okay. I want to select the layer. And now we're going to go to image and transform and skew. And uh, what we're skewing here is this layer, which is layer one. And so, uh, once you click the skew, once you've selected a layer and choose from the uh, transform skew, then what that does is uh, it forms these little white boxes around the actual layer, which is what we're going to be working with. So, I'm going to take and put my arrow on one of these just to get it started, just to show you how this works. And... Um, as you grab these, you can basically move these, and um, I'm going to form uh, this in a way that he appears straight um, in the image. And I can actually move this down. I can also use my arrow keys, which will move it left to right, up and down, whatever I want to do. Um, skew this a little more and I can move this over just a bit and I want to skew him I don't want to um, change his form in any I just want to kind of turn it and form it to where it doesn't look so awkward in the image and that's pretty close or I can lift him up like I did Whatever to the eye on your end, whatever is appealing to your eye, for me, um, it may be different for you, but you get the gist here. And if I want to slide him over, I just use my arrow keys and then move up and get to this corner so I'm going to shift it over because I want to kind of straighten him out just a little bit. Now I'm going to shift him back over. And so what I'm doing is straightening, straightening him up on the page psalm. So there he is. And now I'm ready to click off of that and I'm going to check it. And that tells me that it's good. And I'm going to select this part here. And I'm going to move this to a place. I could leave it here. But just to show you how to turn this. Uh, once you've selected the box. And you have these boxes around it. Let's do that again. Select the box. And you've got the white boxes for skewing. And it's going to ask me if. Uh, or I can take and turn it like that. Move it down, turn it a little more if I want to, and um, check this little green check that says uh, I'm satisfied or not. Actually, I'm going to make it just a titch bigger and move it down just a little bit. Kind of look stamped there. And I can use my arrow keys again to kind of tweak it just in the right place. And check that box, and it's done. And there you have it. 
that's how you use your skew T. And if you have any questions about this, you can call us here at Condi Systems, and uh, we're happy to help you. Again, my name is Vicki. I'm with Condi. I hope this has helped. Thank you.